Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we will continue our topic of concentration. I have already started this topic in my previous video. Let's continue concentration topic and I will start some more question based on the concentration guys. And after that, we are doing some titration questions. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's, we will do this question. Look at that. This question is based on when two solutions are going to mix in a big container, how can we figure out the molarity or the, sorry, the concentration of the resulting solution? Look at that. I have a short formula for that. And we can use the lengthiest method, but look at the short formula. Resulting concentration equals to C1 V1 plus C2 V2 over total volume. Like TV total volume. This formula we can use only when we have same chemical substance or same solute. Look, we have HCl. Solution is mixed with 0 0.2 moldium minus 300 centimeter cube. HCl solution is mixed with HCl solution. Then only we can use this formula. So what's the C1? C1 is 0 0.2 and v1 is 100 okay plus look at the c2 c2 is 0 0.1 times 400 divided by total volume which is 500 centimeter cube do we need to change into dm cube no guys because divided by thousand divided by thousand divided by thousand that cancel off you don't need to change this into dm cube okay this cancel that cancel this cancel that cancel so 20 plus 40 divided by 500 20 plus 40 60 divided by 500 5 times 12 12 divided by 100, which is nothing but 0 0.12 mole dm minus 3. See, always the resulting concentration is less than the concentration of individual acids. Why? Because we are adding more volume. See the concept. We have already done that conch, conch equals to mole over wall mole over volume when the volume increases concentration decreases so the concentration of the resulting solution should be less than the original concentration now i will teach you one more concept that will come up in the examination let's see look at this question a new term we are using here. Look at that. A solution of sodium hydroxide had a concentration of 4 gram per dm cube. What is its concentration in mole dm cube? So how can we convert gram per dm cube, mole dm per mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube? Guys, I have seen this question in many past paper. You can you you can use this technique for AQ examination or OCR examination. Look at that. Mole over concentration. Concentration is equal to mole over volume. We know that conch, conch equals to mole over volume. Okay, concentration equals to mole over volume. What is mole in terms of mass? Mole is nothing but mass over MR. So plug all these mass over MR in case of mole. 
So conch, plug here, conch equals to mass over MR times 1 over volume. Okay. That is that clear? Now, take conch to that side. Conch, conch time MR equals to mass over volume. Now, look at that. Mass we measure in terms of grams and how you measure the volume? Volume in terms of dm cube. So dm minus 3. So conch time mr equals to gram per dm cube. This is the easy way we can change mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube. So conch time mr equals to gram dm minus 3. Look at the question one more time. So 4 gram per dm cube is given and you have to change into mole per dm cube. So rearrange this formula. So conch, conch equals to gram dm minus 3 divided by mr. So simple guys. You don't need to calculate anything. It's just the, the simple conversion. So what's the gram per dm cube? 4. 4 gram per dm cube, work out the MR of sodium hydroxide, sodium 23 plus 16 plus 1, which is equals to 40, guys. So, 4, 1, 1, not 0 0.1, not 0 0.1 mole dm minus 3. We will do one more question, guys. Okay, we will do one more question, guys. Look. What is the concentration of 0.05 mole dm minus 3 solution of sodium carbonate in gram per dm cube? So, conch, which is given in mole dm minus 3, so you have to change into gram per dm cube. What's the formula? Conch concentration, concentration time MR equals to gram per dm cube. <coughs> Easy guys. So concentration is given conch equals conch time MR equals to gram dm minus 3. Sorry, I have written the formula twice, so it doesn't matter. What's the concentration? Not point not five and MR of sodium carbonate. MR of sodium carbonate and Na23 times 2. 23 times 2 plus carbon 12 plus 16 times 3. I think it's 106, guys. 0 0.5 times 106. So 106 times 5, 35. So which is nothing but 53 into 10 to the power of minus 2 which is equal to 0 0.53 gram dm minus 3. Easy, guys. So we can change conch, which is given in terms of mole dm minus 3, into gram per dm cube. Or if they will give gram per dm cube, we can change convert into mole per dm cube. That's the easy way, guys. Yeah, this is... Another type of question I have seen in many past paper. Now, look at one more question. Look at this question, guys. What mass of barium sulfate would be produced by adding excess barium chloride solution to 20 centimeter cube of copper sulfate solution of a concentration this one? So, we have to write the balanced chemical equation, then only we can do. It's a, it's a kind of a stoichiometry question. So, what mass of barium sulfate is formed when, when excess of barium chloride, re, when excess of barium chloride reacts with copper chloride? So, copper sulfate reacts with barium chloride to form barium sulfate, BaSO4. Look at, 
it's all one and one reactant to form one product. Uh, barium sulfate, we are getting barium sulfate, what we are getting? Uh, copper chloride plus CuCl2. Okay, a theoretical ratio is 1, 1, 1. Now, what data is given in the question? We have 20 centimeter cube of copper sulfate conch and volume of copper sulfate is given. Conch of copper sulfate is not 0.1 and volume of the copper sulfate equals to 20. When a volume and a conch is given to you, what's the first step? Work out the number of mole of the copper sulfate. What is the formula to work out the mole? Mole equals to C times V over 1000, guys. So, 0 0.1 times 20 divided by 1000. Is that okay? Yes. So, 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. What mass of barium sulfate? You have to work out the mass of the barium sulfate. How much? So, moles, 1 is to 1 molar ratio. You got the same mole of the barium sulfate. Work out the MR of the barium sulfate. So, mass of barium sulfate is equal to mole time its MR. When you work out the MR, mole is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3. And when you work out the um, MR of the barium sulfate, you use this. Barium 137, sulfur is 32, oxygen 16 times 4. So the total is 233. That's the MR of barium sulfate. Now, mass equals to mole time MR. So 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 233 times by 2. 4 equals to 466 into 10 to the power of minus 3 or 0 0.466 grams. Is that okay? Yeah. Can you try this question? What is the maximum mass of calcium carbonate which will react with 25 centimeter cube of 2 moldia minus 3 hydrochloric acid. Let's see. First, we have to write the chemical equation between the calcium chloride and the hydrochloric acid, guys. You know, like this is the general trend when a carbonate, metal carbonate, react with any acid, we will get salt plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. I will teach you. I will teach you soon how to write the chemical formula of the substance and how to balance the chemical equation. Okay, let's write the balanced chemical equation first. CaCO3 react with hydrochloric acid and I will tell you that any carbonate, metal carbonate, when react with the acid, we will get salt, CaCl2, don't worry about the formula of calcium chloride plus water and plus carbon dioxide gas. So look at the molar ratio. Is that reaction balance, guys? And uh, look at the, how many chlorine, two chlorine here and one chlorine here. So you have to times by two here. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, two chlorine, two chlorine. This is hydrochloric acid and two chlorine. Now it's that balance, one calcium, one calcium, one carbon, one carbon, three oxygen, one plus two, three oxygen, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, two chlorine, two chlorine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is the maximum mass of calcium carbonate? Mass is not given. You have to work out the mass. And we have mole we have conch of HCl in that question and a volume of HCl in that question. So conch is given, conch of HCl is given. 
which is 2 mole per dm cube. Wall is given volume equals to 25 centimeter cube. Guys, whenever we have a volume and Kong, the first step, work out the mole. Mole equals to C time V over 1000 CV. Mole equals to CV. Because this volume is given in centimeter cube, that's why I divided by 1000. So C2 into 25 divided by 1000, which is nothing but 50 over 1000 equals to, equals to, that's equals to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Is that okay? Yeah. 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 is the mole of the HCl. Look at the molar ratio. 1 is to 2, guys. So you got 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So 1 mole of calcium carbonate react with the 2 mole. So can I divide this by 2 to get the mole of calcium carbonate? So 5 divided by 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 mole of CaCO3. So 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 is the mole of calcium carbonate. So if you don't mind, can I, can I, can I rub this part? Only that part of the question, I'm not rubbing all. Okay, I have some little space to work out my calculation. So mass equals to mole of CO3 times its MR. What's the mole of CaCO3? 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 MR of calcium carbonate. You can work it out, calcium 40, carbon 12, oxygen 16, which is nothing but 100. So what's the answer? 2.5 gram. So I want to stop here. Please, guys, I know your exam is coming up only four weeks. So the do revision of this type of question, you can choose any textbook, OCR, AQA, I, I don't mind it. And if you have any question, please get back to me. If you have any question based on the concentration or a titration or a back titration, you can get back to me. I will try to help you. So thank, thank you guys for watching my this video. And I will come back soon with one more video. In that video, I'm going to teach concentration in terms of titration and a back titration important thing back titration okay thank you guys